Tiger Vision here with Coach Sartain talking about the trip to Oregon. Coach Sartain, talk about going up to Oregon, playing Will Lamett, and uh, the second half, coming back and winning the second half, but falling 38-24 to the team from Salem, Oregon. Well, it was a great trip, good experience for our young men. Uh, everything went smooth. It's just uh, it's a long way to go. Uh, time change is always a, a, an issue, but we had a we felt like we had a good trip. Our, our, our guys were were fresh and ready to play. Uh, you know, it, it looks like a tale of two halves. We really played extremely hard in the first half. We just had three or four plays uh, that we came up an inch or two short, some uh, breaks that didn't go our way. But uh, the young men, we were very proud of the way they uh, rallied at halftime and decided to, to play it out and, and, you know, really, really gave it a run. Uh, there late in, the, late in the third quarter, early fourth quarter, it was uh, – very much in the balance. We, we, we had the momentum. We, we scored a couple of times and uh, felt like we had control of the game. Uh, a couple of things uh, that, that uh, we had a kick blocked, uh, unfortunate, uh, bad execution, poor execution. We, we missed an extra point and then we fumbled the ball into the end zone going in. So there's 11 points that we left on the grass and we're, you know, we got to get the, the problems uh, corrected that, that led to those mistakes. But uh, uh, feel very good about our football team, our capabilities, and uh, what I like most about it is our character and our heart that, that uh, we'll play things out, and uh, that's going to mean a great deal to us as we move into America Southwest Conference play. Some career highs in this game with Seth Hubbard and Kwame Spikes and the defensive playing well. Talk about some of the, the guys that did well in this game. Well, of course, Kwame uh, had an incredible uh, incredible night, Caught some, made some incredible catches, uh, great with the ball in his hand after the catch is, is a force to be reckoned with and, and you know we expect him to receive some uh, added attention in the future. Seth I think really came into his own in the second half. We've been kind of uh, you know knowing what he's capable of and, and, and uh, but he really took charge of his football team in the second half. He really developed some confidence uh, in, in some of the throws that he needed to make and, and, and some courage in the pocket and and, and we were really glad to see that, and, and I think that was a spark for our football team uh, top to bottom. Defensively, we played a very reckless and physical game. I, I think we, we really uh, won the physical battle. We just lost the battle on the scoreboard. And, uh, we, we failed to make a couple of critical plays and critical moments, but uh, Dylan Maxwell had a, had a great game, uh, hustling all over the field. Uh, had two and a half sacks. Uh, Jordan Hayes led us again in tackles. Colin Bishke continues to come up with, you know, big interceptions and big plays in in in, uh, in, in the areas uh, that he's responsible for. Uh, you know, had several guys play play really really fine fine football games. Uh, it's it's difficult to, to 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 have to lose a game that we played that that hard and fought that long in. But uh, we'll we'll take the the positive from that and move forward. All right, Coach, thanks a lot.